This video is meant to be an orientation and familiarization of the Jekko product. This is by no means a training or certification video. Prior to all unit operation, please be sure to secure all safety gear including hard hat, eye protection, safety vest, and gloves. The following remote is used to control the SPX 532, 650, and 1280. All machine functions are controlled by this remote. Remote battery can be found on bottom side of remote. A spare battery can be found on the crane. To power up the remote, gently twist e-stop clockwise and release. Press the green start button. The radio remote will cycle through a startup procedure which could take up to 60 seconds. Press start button a second time when prompted. If crane is equipped with diesel engine, push the engine toggle forward to start position. Pressing the toggle down will activate the glow plug or engine stop. This page appears at the start and every time the machine configuration changes. The icons at the top of the screen correspond to the buttons directly above them. The part of line toggle can be used to scroll up or down from hook mode to four parts of line. Button 2 enables and disables the jib on board function. Button 4 gives access to the alarm page. Button 5 is used to confirm the LMI once the desired configuration is shown. Button 2 can be used at any time to return to the LMI screen. The machine working mode selector is used to choose between pick and carry, track, crane, outrigger lifting and or lowering, and outrigger opening modes. With each mode, the functions of the levers will change. This will be shown by the icons. Before selecting a working mode, ensure that the function enabling conditions are met. For example, when outriggers are down, track mode cannot be activated. After selecting a mode, you must click function enable button on the side of remote. This will bring up lever icons. Pick and carry mode gives you the ability to operate crane functions as well as operating the tracks. This screen displays crane positions and working data. Track mode enables the machine to drive on tracks and extend tracks in and out. Crane mode will enable crane functions as well as any hydraulic attachments. This page displays crane position and working data. Outrigger lifting and lowering mode allows you to drive the left and right tracks, extend the tracks in and out, and control outrigger rams up and down, and activate auto level. This screen indicates your X and Y axis. The outrigger will highlight green when the crane detects proper ground pressure. The auto level button is located on the left side of the remote. Holding the button will activate all four outriggers and auto-level the crane. Outrigger opening mode allows you to hydraulically activate the rotation and extension of the outriggers. This screen displays the working load chart per working area of the machine. Using buttons 1 and 5, you can scroll through these five pages regardless of your current working mode. In track and crane mode, you can utilize the speed toggle to increase or decrease your working speeds. As toggle moves, the corresponding icon will change from green to orange and to red depending on the speed. In order to achieve maximum winch capacity, snail mode must be selected. As you rotate the selector to the right, overall speed will increase but hydraulic power will decrease. This selection is indicated by the background color of the screen. When using track or winch function, you may use this toggle to increase or decrease its speed. When using any crane function, this toggle will change all crane speeds. 
Any active warnings or alarms will be displayed on the alarm page, which can be found by pressing button 4. Pressing button 4 again then allows you to switch between alarms and warnings. To clear any alarms, hold down button 5. Button 1 will return you to the working page. The work light button on the left side of the remote toggles through different lighting modes. By clicking button 3, engine or battery information will be displayed. Scrolling with button 1 gives access to the settings page where you can change language, units of measurement, and brightness. The tether on the frequency key should never be used to secure the remote. In the event the remote does not communicate with the machine wirelessly, the remote can be tethered to the crane via cable.